What's good and what's mobbing, man? I want to thank each and every one of you for all the prayers that you've sent. Um, I, I needed it more than ever, and I appreciate it more than ever. You already know that, man. We in this together, man. I pray for y'all all the time, um, and I'm with y'all all the time. So let's get into today's devotion, September 8th, devotion, Ecclesiastics chapter 11, verse 9, which reads, You who are young, be happy while you are young, and let your heart give you joy in these days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart and whatever you, your eyes see, but know that for all these things, God will bring you into judgment. You know, you always hear people say, man, follow your heart. Man, but the Bible tells us the heart is deceitfully wicked. Then people say, do what makes you happy. But the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and the rest will be added unto you. So it's like, <laughs> which one you're going to choose? You know, I mean, we live in, in a world today that is a happy-go-lucky, you know, do what makes you happy culture. And we've forgotten this wisdom. You know, Solomon is here telling us to have fun. And, you know, I would never tell the youth, never tell a young man not to have fun and enjoy his youth, enjoy his strength, enjoy his vibrance or hers, and, and enjoy who you are. Enjoy learning new things. Enjoy that journey without a doubt. But keep in mind that there's consequences. And that we are going to be held to these consequences. We will be held accountable. We will be judged. You know, there was a time in my life when I was younger, what I considered fun literally involved hurting people. You know, some of it was robberies, breaking into places, but a good majority of it in my 20s was fighting. I was into boxing. I was in prison, obviously, um, but I was into fighting, you know, and and. I love the thrill of the challenge, but I also loved the adoration that came, you know, with getting that W, you know what I'm saying? And, and the thing is this, man, the truth is in hindsight, like these were some of the most turbulent times of my life, um, uh, because I was broken, you know, I considered this turmoil to be normal because I was broken. Um, and, and the consequences were trouble, war, write-ups, new charges, gaining enemies, um, and becoming a target for those that want to knock me off my so-called throne, you know what I mean? And so today, when I look at it, I would much rather, you know, uh, function with the knowledge, uh, knowing that there's consequences for every action. And that's all I'm trying to share in this message to the youngsters today. Live your life, have fun, but don't think that there's not, you know, consequences for your actions see some some of the consequences you might not see for months or or years or maybe even five years or the and, and others that you might not even see until you reach our heavenly father but you will answer for the things you do like do not get that twisted um you know so i have i've learned because of my trial and error because of the path that I've taken to consider the long-term effect of, of uh, and the consequences of my behavior. And I've learned um, through all the warfare that I've been, been through um, that I've learned to do and try to perpetuate peace as much as possible while it exists because warfare doesn't need my help. You know what I'm saying? Warfare is going to come and you can trust that. And so therefore we have to set up our goodwill. We have to, we have to store up our goodwill. We have to, um, use our Christ-like behaviors and you utilize it any and everywhere that we can. You know, we have to, um, if, if while you're young, you can learn to discipline your thoughts, uh, to discipline your behavior and really consider, the long-term effect, the ripple effect of what throwing that stone. And you might throw a stone right here and think that you're just messing with this one person, but there's a ripple effect within that person's family or with that person's business or with, within your community that just trickles out. And we have to consider this because we will be held accountable. You know, there's no free passes for our sinfulness when it comes to God. None, at least none that we can assume. Anything that, that, we receive from him is not because of us any grace or mercy that we receive for our sinfulness it isn't because of something we did it's it's because of the love of god and it's because of him and him alone so to all my young people man fight for heaven today right now wherever you're at make a conscious decision that you're gonna fight that you're gonna enjoy your youth 100 percent. enjoy it live it thrive be vibrant you know what i'm saying you know, radiate your love and your life, uh, light where, wherever you go. And, but in, in order to do this in a proper context, you have to consider what your actions will do to others.
what your speech will do to others. Like I just learned the other day. I mean, I knew it, but I, I fell. And my actions cause that ripple effect, man. But I'm bounced back from that. I'm good. But I'm just saying that's a small situation um, uh, where where not as violent as what I'm talking about now or whatever your situation is. But you feel what I'm saying. So get out there, get it, grind, do your thing, live your life. But remember, there are consequences. And we should always be mindful of that, that we're being Christ-like and we're pushing the gospel forward. Love y'all. Keep it mobbing. Bless us.